fingers to the machine. Setup is now complete. To install the glass cutting pillar post, lock the rocker arm out of position as you did for the blade pillar post. Hold the short thumb lever depressed while pushing the detent pin on the left side of the head. Then release the thumb lever first, then the detent pin. Loosen the speed screw and slide the mat cutting pillar post out of the head and slide the glass cutting pillar post in its place. Tighten the speed screw to lock the pillar post. Press the short thumb lever and note how the detent pin is disengaged when you push and release the short thumb lever. Handle glass safely. Wear safety glasses and use glass working gloves. Carry the glass vertically while holding the sides. When you lay a large piece on a table, hold the glass against the edge of the table and rotate it down flat. You can then slide it away from the edge. Unexpected breakage generally occurs from bending or bumping the glass edge against a hard object. Load the glass from the left. Set its bottom edge gently on the squaring edge bar and slide it to the right to the desired dimension. Rest your left hand against the face of the glass to hold it in place. Do not use the clamp on glass. It is used for plastic, mat mount and hardboard only and may prematurely break glass. Grasp the cutting head handle with your right hand and depress the short thumb lever. Raise the cutting head so the tool is above the glass. Release the thumb lever and bring the head down until you feel the pillar post touch the upper edge of the glass. Now pull the head all the way down to its rest position at a constant speed. Don't slow down at the bottom edge. Keep your left hand on the face of the glass so it doesn't move. Do not apply breaking pressure at the center of the glass. It may not break on the score line. Press with your thumb near the bottom edge and just to the right of the score. The break will occur immediately and the pieces will remain in place. Remove the two pieces of glass and dispose of the scrap. Glass cutting is a two-step process, score and break. The wheel creates a fine crack in the surface of the glass. After scoring, a slight bending of the glass will cause a break to travel the full length of this crack. Do not score the glass more than once. The glass will not break as easily and it will wear the wheel out quickly. A spring pushes the wheel against the glass. This pressure can be changed with the pressure adjusting knob. The correct setting with a new wheel will show about one half inch of threads exposed on the brass knob. Avoid too much pressure. It causes the score to appear chalky and flakes of glass will be dislodged. The glass will not break out as easily if too much pressure is used. The ideal score results when just enough pressure is used to make a light but continuous crack along the full length of the glass.